Hello guys, welcome to another Lance 101 YouTube video and uh, today I'm going to do something a little different. I was inspired by one of our commenters, thank you to Ethan, Ecological. He commented to do story time with Johnny and so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm your host Johnny and today we're going to be doing story time. So, the first book I'm going to read for this is um, called Run to the Pentagon. Run to the Pentagon, uh, we, in fourth grade, there was a competition between all, the, all of Roanoke County to see with their schools for a reading program. And I wrote my book, and in that reading program, uh, it got submitted, and I ended up here just covering what's not meant to be seen. I won first place. So, if I won first place, this, this, by me, it must be good, right? Because if it's not good, why well, don't win first place? So, without further ado, I want you guys to just sit back, relax, while I read Run to the Pentagon. Written and illustrated by Johnny. So I was 10 when I wrote this. Um, it says it right there. Okay. So let's start. When I got through my front door, I called Riley. Gather up all your stuff. We have to leave here now before they catch us. Whoa. Then I took my laptop and I put it in a high security briefcase with a padlock on it. Then I got my SRI Viper and went to pick up Riley. When I got to Riley's house, I put his laptop in my high security briefcase with my laptop. Riley then got into my car with a bag full of pies. Why do you have to bring pies everywhere? I asked. Because I love them, Riley replied. Then we headed to the airport. On the way to the airport, we took a back road through the woods. Then Riley and I started talking about how we got hacked and ended up with the information on the second Manhattan Project. And now, we were getting chased by terrorists. This is bad because if we get caught, it's bye bye USA for everyone. Suddenly, an apple pie hit my car. What in the world just happened? I shouted. I'll go check, Riley said. Riley looked out the window. When Riley brought his head back into the car, his voice was muffled, and I could not hear him. When I looked at Riley, he had blueberry pie all over his face. Once he licked the blueberry pie off his face, he shouted, Terrorists with about five million dollars worth of pie! Yum! Pie! Don't think about pie right now, I quickly snapped back. All the way to the airport, we got bombarded with apple pie, blueberry pie, cherry pie, banana pie, pumpkin pie, and many other types of pie. When we got to the airport, the terrorists flew away, probably to get more pies. Then Riley and I boarded a plane headed for Washington, D.C. Ooh. Mmm. On the plane, Riley ate pizza and a bunch of pies. I ate nachos, cheese dip, and ice cream. Stereotypical. Then the pilot spoke over the intercom and said, we are low on fuel, and there's a bad storm at the nearest airport, so just in case, put on a parachute. When Riley and I put our parachutes on, the pilot came over the intercom and said, We also have a shortage of parachutes, but stay calm. Everyone on the plane began to panic and scream, and if as if wasn't bad enough, the terrorists flew right in front of the plane. The terrorists threw pies at the engines, and the plane started falling out of the sky. Ha ha ha. Ha! <laughs> People screamed and then jumped off the plane. We have to save them, I shouted. I'm scared, Riley said. Oh, whatever, I said. Then I grabbed Riley and jumped off the plane. This is intense. Holy crap. Ah! I don't want to die, Riley shrieked. You have a parachute on, I said. Oh, yeah, Riley remembered. Let's go save those people, I shouted. Yeah! Riley shouted. 
When we got to where the people were, we saw they were holding on to each other. Grab onto my legs, I shouted. Once the people grabbed onto my legs, I pulled the ripcord. When we got to the ground, the people were thankful. Where's the briefcase, I said. Thud! Over here, Riley gasped. When I finally looked at Riley, I saw that the briefcase had fallen on Riley. Get up! We have to go to the Pentagon, I said. Okay, Riley said. We headed for the Pentagon. I don't want to die. I'm hungry, Riley groaned. We are halfway there, I said. But I haven't eaten in hours, Riley groaned again. We have no food, I said. I saved my pie bag, Riley said excitedly. Oh, fine, I said. So we sat down and ate blueberry pie. We better get... Dot, dot, dot. I was stopped in my tracks with a pie in my face. I got the pie off my face and Riley shouted, Terrorists! That might have been a little bit too loud. Sorry about that, neighbors. Gah! The terrorists hovered close to the ground. What should I do? What should I do, I thought. A light bulb appeared over my head. I had an idea. I quickly ran over to Riley and told him the plan. Then we started running in circles. The terrorists threw pies at us. Most of them Riley ate, but some fell on the ground. Then Riley and I took the mushed pies and made pie balls out of them. Then we threw the pie balls at the helicopter. Bingo! The pie balls hit the engines and the helicopter fell. Then Riley and I got the two unconscious terrorists. Now there is only one thing to do, I said. What? Riley asked. Drag them all the way to the Pentagon, I replied. Oh, fine, Riley groans. Once we got to the Pentagon, we were as tired as a man who hadn't slept in a whole year. We still went up to the security desk. What do you mean? said the man in a rough voice. Then we told him everything. How we ended up for the information with the second Manhattan Project, and how we got chased by the two unconscious terrorists that, were, that we were dragging behind us. I'll go get General Zachary Tyler the man said in a rough voice. When the man went to tell General Zachary Tyler our story, Riley fell asleep. I fell asleep too. Luckily, we both woke up before General Zachary Tyler. The man, luckily, we both woke up before General Zachary Tyler and the man came back. When the general and the man came out, I saw that the general had brought some soldiers with them. Did you two catch these men? asked the general. Yes, we did, sir, I replied. Then Zachary Tyler commanded one of his soldiers to get a helicopter ready to go to Alcatraz. <laughs> he told another soldier to carry the terrorists to the helicopter. May I please have the laptops? he asked. Yes, you may, I replied. Then General Zachary Tyler took the high security briefcase with the laptops in them. You will get the high security brief case and laptops back with the other shipment, General Zachary Tyler said. Other shipment? I asked confused. You will see, the general replied. Okay, I said. Then I got Riley, and we went to the airport and boarded the plane to Roanoke. We slept the whole time on the airplane. When we got to the Roanoke airport, Riley and I got into my car and drove home. On the car ride home, Riley agreed to sleep at my house. Once we got to my house, I fell asleep on the couch, and Riley fell asleep on the chair. <laughs> the next morning, the sound of the doorbell ringing woke Riley and I up. When I got off the couch and answered the door, the mailman asked, Are you Jonathan? Yes, I am, I replied. Is Riley here? The mailman asked. Yes, he is, I replied. Well, here's a box for the two of you, the mailman said. Okay, thank you, I said. You're welcome, the mailman shouted from his truck. I wonder what this could be, I thought. Dang, the mailman looking saucy. Hey, Riley, I shouted. Yeah, Riley shouted back. There's a package for you and I, I shouted. Okay, coming, Riley shouted. Once Riley got to where I was, I opened the box. My high security briefcase with our laptops was found in the box. 
at the bottom of the box, we found two paychecks, one for Riley and one for myself. We almost passed out when we saw that each of us had been given checks for two million dollars. Do you want to celebrate with some blueberry pies? I asked Riley. Riley turned his head and smiled. Nah, I think I'll pass this time, Riley replied. The end. Woo! Okay, so awesome. Got this illustration back here. <laughs> so, I think that was a good book. Um, you know, I actually, under when I was like looking for the book, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be such a bad book. I wrote it in fourth grade. But when I was reading it, I'm like, dang, I actually like, used some words besides said. Like, I like the part where it's like at the beginning of the story where it's like, I snapped back. I got goosebumps when I was reading that. And I was like, whoa. That was nice. Besides that, <laughs> I think it did like very, very well for fourth grade. So, yeah, keep in mind, fourth grade, fourth grade. I Overall, I'm very pleased with the book. I'm very pleased. I'm happy that I wrote it. And I can't even believe, still now, like, everyone gets their moment to like win a bike or some crap, but I got first, th this was my moment. I got first place in the whole county I, I'm, I'm just, when I heard that, I was just like, because that was, that was just crazy. That was just really crazy. So, yeah. Well, hope you guys enjoyed Storytime with Johnny. Next time, tune in for Smoked Turkey and the Italian Mafia. Bye, guys.